guys, check it out. There's still sun outside. Yeah, I didn't wake up at four today. Isn't that something cool? It's actually two o'clock in the afternoon right now. I got up, uh, like I said, I got up uh, two hours ago. Well, actually, it was a little, a little earlier than that. I got up at around 11.45 a.m. and uh, let the dog out and didn't want to sleep too much. I went to bed last night at five, got up at 11.45, seven hours down. Not bad, not bad. I, I want to try and get back on a proper sleeping schedule. This going to bed at 8 in the morning and waking up at 5 in the afternoon shit, it's fucking horrible. When the sun goes down, or when the sun's coming up and getting up when the sun goes down, pretty sure my neighbors think I'm a fucking vampire by now. Glow in the sun, or sparkle like a fruitcake. Anyway, a lot of you guys are complaining on the commenting on comments because I went and put fucking background music. Calm your tits, it's gonna be like that until the 23rd. I was trying something different. I remembered you guys hated the music in the vlogs, but I figured commenting on comments is more produced. So if I add a little background music on it, and uh, you know, uh, in the background lightly just to kind of break the the uh, the uh, dead noise at some times I figured that wouldn't be a problem <laughs> turns out it fucking is so who knew be out of music to any of that video anymore because obviously people just don't really like that very much so next time I do comedy on comments don't worry there won't be any background music just don't get your panties in or not it's okay so I was just watching Marcel's video here and apparently he's doing a computer build because he's sick and tired of his computer just randomly shutting off for funsies. And that got me thinking, let's go and build a computer ourselves just for funsies and see how much it would cost. So I decided to new use Newegg and I went to the component section and you can totally see here, you got the CPU, the motherboards, your video cards, your cases, your power supply, your memory, storage, optical and cooling. The main necessities of any computer build. So I guess we'll start off with the motherboard. Let's see what we got here. Alrighty, so we're looking at the, uh, I decided to go with the processor first to see what kind of board I was going to get. So we're going to need a board that's LGA 1151. That's 1151 pins. Uh, we're going to go with the Core i7 6700. 8 meg, Skylake, quad core. <laughs> it says not available. See items below. So what items below? You know what? Fuck it. We're adding it to the cart. I'm not logged in right now, so... Oh, are you serious? You can't even add it to the cart. Okay, well, you know what? For shits and giggles, we're gonna uh, do something different here. Okay, this is kind of cool. I noticed on that motherboard they had to build it yourself, and they give you uh, basically the Maximus whatever configurator. But you notice down here, where it shows the processors, there's no option for an i7. I think there could be a shortage of i7s. Okay, so if I were to buy that board with the i5, uh, where the fuck is it? The i5 uh, 6600K, 6 meg cache, I guess. Uh, Skylake quad core 3.5 gigahertz, 1151, 95 motherfucking watts. Uh, we are looking, oh, that. I also added uh, 32 gigs of G Skill Rips, Ripjaw RAM, which is $230. It was cheaper than the other one. Uh, honestly, I don't think there's a different. Oh, uh, well, that one's actually faster RAM. I don't know why the one on the bottom is more expensive. Probably just because it's Corsair and they. They can hold their name. And then down here there's an SSD, an Eco 2.5 inch, 240 gig SATA 3. So just the board, chip, RAM, and storage, we are looking at a grand total of $1,051. That's not a bad deal, like for a gaming rig. I really want an i7 though, because I prefer i7s. But the i5 would probably still kick tits. Can't really dog it much. It just doesn't have the multi-threads, right? It's just a quad core, no, no multi-threads. But that's basically what they got there. So Ice 5, G Skill, oh and the motherboard of course is the Asus ROG, uh, G Skill and the Solid State Drive. Now I do kind of like this Roswell case, it's pretty basic, pretty simple. Uh, basically it's cheap, it's 69 bucks. Yeah, anyway, so it's got, uh, it's a steel ATX mid tower, two USB 2.0s, one external SATA, uh, front audio in and out ports, three fans installed, so it's got, uh, one fan in the front, as you can see there, it's got a blue LED fan in the front. One fan on the top out that port, and it's got one out the back, not to include the one that's also going out the power supply to keep that shit cool. And you can see on the side here there's bolt patterns, because you can add two more fans to the side panel, 
to either exhaust or blow air in. Uh, I'd probably do an exhaust on that one there to get as much heat out of the case as possible. Because you know what, if you create a vacuum in there, you'll get, um, air will just seep in from every nook and cranny and it will create a cooling environment and it will be okay. It'll be okay. And you got your fucking USB right there on the top and so that's not a bad case. We'll add that one to the group. Okay, well we're all said and done. We end up with the Roswell case, the EVGA GTX 960, which is the video card I chose. I might change that out because this video card originally I, I was putting it for the uh, the Dell 8300, and then uh, they're given a gift. There's the motherboard, which comes with the board, the chip, the RAM, and a hard drive for the SSD. And, uh, well, there's the i5 processor. Up here you got your board, your RAM, and your uh, SSD. And if you go further down, I added a, uh, a hard drive here, a Western Digital RE4 2TB hard drive, 7200 RPMs, basically just to... Uh, put video games and whatnot on because that is going to be a gaming rig. Now what burns my tits is it is an i5. And I know, Adam, it's just an i5. They're, they're still very good processors, just go with it. The i5 will destroy anything AMD has on the market to this date, I believe. I haven't done any benchmarks yet to see if there's anything that can beat the i5 from AMD. But the i7 is like raw fucking processing power that is just mint. Now the one thing I like about building my own computer is it doesn't come with Windows 10. Every computer I looked at from Dell all came with Windows 10. You could opt for Windows 8.1, but you can't get Windows 7 anymore. It's fucking bullshit. Windows 7 is the best. It's the best. So I think the best solution to do for the cheapest thing to basically be able to play video games and whatnot, uh, I was thinking about taking the XPS 9000, which is a computer I'm on right now, moving that downstairs to the TV down there, because that Acer, Acer computer, she's fucked. So slow, so unreliable. Like, I, I was telling Sugarcube about this. Uh, she's like, uh, how come you don't put Ubuntu or uh, a Linux distribution on there and go from there? And I was like, well, reason being is it took me like seven attempts to get Windows 7 installed on that computer. Not seven different copies of Windows 7. The same copy of Windows 7, just seven tries. Like, you install it. It would install and then it would be like unstable as fuck and the kernel would panic and it would blue screen and sometimes wouldn't boot or bring up the Windows screen and then it would just go start boot looping. No reason whatsoever. I've tried a different hard drive in it. I've tried a solid state drive in it. <clears throat> I've tried so much different shit in it and replaced the RAM because originally that computer only came with one gig of RAM, two 5, 12 meg chips and I put uh, two... Um, two two gig chips in it to give it four megs of ra uh, four gigs of RAM so I upped the RAM in it, replaced the RAM replaced the hard drive, I did so much to that computer and it's unstable as fuck so I chalk it up to a shoddy motherboard on it because well Acer right so that's why I was thinking like take the XPS 9000 put it down there because I never use the 8300 I never sit at that desk over there so I was thinking you know what fuck it we're gonna decommission that desk move the gaming rig over here I'm always sitting at this desk anyway so why not just have everything controlled over here and then move the 9000 downstairs have the 8300 on this rig and use that for all my gaming and all that nonsense instead of buying a new computer and go from there but in order to do that I need more storage I need more RAM and I need a better video card because that 550 in there is a fucking pile of shit but then I come over here to Dell and they have their 8900, which we'll get a zoom in on that. It's got the 6th generation Core i7, Windows garbage, 16 gigs of RAM, 1 terabyte 720 uh, uh, hard drive, for sakes. It's got the NVIDIA GeForce GTX 745, 4 gigs of DDR3. Now that's a bullshit card, but it's an entry level. What do you expect? DDR3, eh? Fuck. Uh, my 550 has GDDR5 on it, so that's garbage. Um, yeah, and a bunch of junk there. It's got the wireless BG. I'm surprised it doesn't have wireless AC. That's kind of cheap. 7.1 sound card. It's got Microsoft Office, which will be getting uninstalled. All that shit. But for the whopping price of $1,199, so $1,200. So this is the reason why I always buy pre-built 
over fucking buying uh, a build your own because the build your own was an i5 and it was fifteen hundred dollars this one here is an i7 and it's three hundred dollars cheaper and you've seen the price of those i7 processors they're fucking expensive they're like five hundred bucks alone just the processor chip and ram uh... would be about a thousand bucks would be about the cost of this computer here that's the reason why i was looking at buying the dell but it reminds me of what happened with the 8300 and the fact that shit doesn't like it. You know, I tried to put a USB 3.0 card in there and all I did was bitch, moan, and complain. So I was like, fuck that, we're out. But, I don't know. I'm thinking, I'm just still tossing around ideas. You know, worst case in Ontario, if I want a better computer for downstairs, all I gotta do is bust apart my old Acer laptop, the timeline, and clean it out. There's probably half a dead cat in there. So if I clean that out, I can put that on the TV downstairs and it'll be glorious. So that's the other thing I'm thinking because that Acer downstairs, like I said, it's fucking bleh. But what do you expect? I paid $2.99 for the computer on Boxing Day. It's a pile of shit. Anyway, people, I want to take a rip over to Home Depot. Uh, Adrian was telling me that uh, they have LED bulbs there for uh, four bucks a bulb, pretty much. You get a pack of 12 bulbs for 50 bucks. So. That's pretty fucking good if you ask me. That's like 40, uh, four bucks a bulb roughly. Because I want to replace all of these fucking things. Because these are what caught fire. Uh, a while back I did a video and I showed, if you notice, like these ones here are yellow. That one you can't tell on the camera. That's a different style bulb than those ones there. I want to replace all, all six of these with LEDs because I'm sick and tired of those CCFLs. They scare me. Um, this is already an LED bulb, so we're good there. This one in here is a CCFL. I want to convert that to an LED. I want to convert him over too, but that's impossible. Over here in this lamp, we have a corn cob and a CCFL. And I believe in this lamp we have two CCFLs. We have a cat on a sleeping bag. Um, yeah, these are two CCFLs as well, and I'd like to convert them over. I guess I don't need that on. What are you doing? You're just sitting on my sleeping bag? Is it comfy? You like that? Yeah, you do. You just like sitting up high, don't you? Yeah, you do. And here's your puppy. He's stupid. Right? That's all you can fucking do. So there's not really much light to... Huh. Do I have iSpy open? Because this is totally showing it's recording stuff. Look. Hello. Huh. That was flashing like a son of a bitch. Uh, okay. I'm going to head upstairs. I'm going to grab my e-dart. Fire up the car. Look at the stupid. And uh, we're going to head off over to Home Repo. Fuck, I need to vacuum. Head off to Home Repo and pick up some LEDs. Well, it's snowing like a fucker out right now, so... Let's go to Home Repo. the worst fucking possible time to want to go. I don't know if the camera's picking it up, probably not, but there's a train passing up ahead. It's been a while since I've been caught by this train. And judging by the look over there, I don't even know if the camera's picking it up. I might just pick up the box of that truck. But you can see that, oh, it's ending. Okay, the train's coming to an end. So we'll get her on the next light. I'm not going to do what that truck did because he's not going to fit in there. Well, I'll just wait until this light turns again, I guess, if we get that make it. But the train is almost complete, so... Yeah, I'm not going to make this light. We'll have to wait till my next one. Son of a bitch. It's been a while since I got caught by this train. Did I never go out this way?
Alrighty, so I'm trying out these Eco Smart uh, light bulbs. This is what Adrian buys. I uh, bought a 12 pack of the 40 waters. So I'm going to use six of these in the bathroom. So that'll be awesome. And then I got a six pack of the 60 watts in case I need more light in another location. The 12 pack of 40 watts were $54.98. And the 60 watt six pack is 34.97. So not too bad, not too bad. Should work pretty well. Right now I know in the kitchen I have a 40 watt bulb in there, but it's a dimmable one. These are not dimmable. So and the comment on comments said those are 60 watt LED bulbs, and one of them lights up the room really well. So. That's the reason why I want to put 40 watts in the bathroom because I don't want it to be where you walk in there, you turn on the light and you're fucking blinded by awesome. You know, it's nothing like pooping in the morning when you just get up and your eyes are crusted over and the light's so fucking bright that it burns your retinas out. It sucks. Anyway, uh, my parents called me while I was driving here. I just checked the phone as I got out and went in uh, Home Repo. I'm going to give them a ring back and see what the fuck's really going on and I'll talk to you guys in a bit. Well, there's a new store for buying your supplements for working out. Fucking Popeyes. Well, I just went to the uh, Ontario Brewery there where I went last time and get to get that blonde beer. It's called, uh, oh fuck, I saw the name too. Sounded like Bear Blonde or something like that, like Rocky Bear Blonde. But this time here, I got one called Alt B I E R, Alt Bier. And the sample was fucking fantastic. So, because the sample was fantastic, I felt the need to reload my growler, my 64 ounce growler, with, uh, with some uh, Alt Beer instead of the Blonde because that was some delicious piss. Tastes like a Rickards Red. Without that, I licked a 9 volt battery undertone. It's like a real fucking clean beer. It's really good. So, I grabbed a 64 ounce growler of that. So if we play Grand Theft Auto tonight, I'll probably end up drinking that on the stream. Getting fucking loaded playing video games. Yep. Um, as far as New Year's Eve goes, I was talking about possibly going down to London. Well, there's been a turn of events, people. Uh, the flea situation with Oreo is back. Both Oreo and Scampers. Fucking fleas again. I gotta get them back on their treatments. And because of that situation, obviously mom does not want the dog over there because she doesn't want her house getting all infected with fleas. And I don't blame her, you know. It's my it's my fault right now, it's my problem. The flea situation, so I gotta deal with that. So I won't be going down to blokes. That and they're calling for a lot of fucking snow after New Year's. Well, at least up here they're calling for snow. Down in London, there's probably not gonna be anything. But uh, I don't really care about the London weather. I care about the weather coming back, right? Because I don't want to get trapped in Barry or beyond and have it just fucking blowing snow where I'm doing 40 kilometers an hour and can't see three feet in front of my car and people who don't have proper tires on their cars are driving like morons putting themselves in the ditch. So because of that, yeah, I probably won't be going. We'll wait till spring, maybe April, May, sometime around there, and I'll bomb down. But... Um, that's one of the jobs of owning a pet, right? If there's something wrong, you can't go. And it's the way she goes. It's not party time all the time. Sometimes you gotta be down the business. Like, and if for some reason I get a new, well, for some reason, if I get a new job next year, or when I get a new job, not if, even if I, even if I was making the money that some people were doing on YouTube, I would need a fucking job. I couldn't, I can't do this sitting at home much longer. I'm getting bored. But uh, I say that on pretty much every vlog, but anyway, when I get a new job, if something happens that I can't go to London anymore because the job gets in the way, it's the way she goes. Like, you know, responsibilities are responsibilities, and sometimes you got to make sacrifices to make it through life. It's bullshit sometimes, but it's the way she goes. So, yeah, so when I get a new job, uh, there might I might not be able to, because depending on the hours working, if it's a Monday to Friday job, maybe I can scoot down on a weekend or something, but... As it stands now, uh, right now I'm free every day. It's just I have that dog, and when you have a dog, it's like having a kid, except for you can't fucking talk to it because it doesn't understand shit. But uh, yeah, so we'll deal with that flea treatment. I can't go anywhere today to pick it up because the vet's not open on the weekends. Gotta wait till Monday. So once Monday comes around, We'll go and we'll go to the flea, uh, to the vet, and we'll get a bunch of shit for Oreo and Scampers and 
I want to get that stuff that you spray all over the carpets and go from there and then hopefully uh, we can have this shit annihilated by March, April. So I'm fucking done with these fleas. Pissing me right off. All because scampers got out one fucking time and came back just fucking layered in the little asshole. Next time she gets out like that, she's not coming home. Fuck, find her new house, cat. Like, I, I can't. I, I, she's such a feral little beast. But like I said, she's a barn cat, so I probably told you guys that already. Like, she's not exactly uh, a domesticated house kitty. She was a uh, barn cat had babies, and that's what they farted out were scampers and litter, and that's why she's so friggin' messed up and stuff. Chances are her parents are siblings. But anyway, we're almost home, so I'll talk to you guys when I get there. Yeah, another growler of Alto Beer. I'm gonna replace the lights in a bit. Um, also tonight I wanna make chili, so we're gonna do that. Oh, scamper, she's eating away. Just gonna fire my Alto Beer in the fridge so it's nice and chili wampus for tonight because I like a chili wampus beer. So yeah, I'll do some LED swapping and all that shit. But I think today's gonna be a dual vlog day because uh, Fuck, I woke up early, so let's make two videos instead of one really massive one that nobody will watch. So anyway, people, on that note, I'm going to shut the video down here. Like I said, tonight we're making chili. We're going to do some LED light sw swapping, and we'll go from there. So uh, on that note, thanks for watching. Like, favorite, and comment as always. And stay tuned for 5 o'clock for another vlog. So until then, keep on vlogging.